Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm Neil Dot, Executive Director of Aquafed. Great. And uh, what's, what's your role? So my role is basically I'm head of the Secretariat of Aquafed, which is the International Federation of Private Water Operators. So running the organisation on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, it's, okay. it's, it's really, what I, what I really like about this, Sean, is that Aquafed and RWSN are quite, in a sense, different organisations, but we've listened to the same young people and come to the very same conclusions at a very early stage, which is that we need to definitely support our young professionals. And, we, and we've also come together and, and very almost immediately agreed a way forward in terms of the type of help that young professionals need, and in which case we think that guiding, helping guide their careers is, is really, really crucial here. So we're not talking specifically about you know, specific training measures, perhaps, but it's this kind of wider look at where young people, how they come into the sector and how they work and, and what their aspirations are. So that's a really nice way of coming, of kind of, again, two completely different organisations coming together, which is really, really nice. The project, as I said, it's about developing young people's careers. So we've got to understand their ways into the sector and their motivations and aspirations. And it's, it's kind of taking an understanding that young people are now motivated in different ways and, and want to aspire to different things to perhaps, we knew did Sean when we started when we were young men. So, um, which wasn't that long ago, of course. But, um, but that, that's the idea behind it. So the specific bit of work we are we're working with the Rural Water Supply Network is on the research to really kind of ensure that we are on the right lines with our assumptions and to kind of test and validate them and get some real hard data on where we think young people are at. And it's come out with some actually quite startling and I'd say quite shocking results. And I felt quite almost quite sad when I read it because it painted a picture where young people just are not being guided properly in, in many cases in, in utilities and services in the global south. And we're just not giving them the opportunities that they want right now. And therefore our ability to hold on to these brilliant, bright young people is very, very diminished. But at the same time, there's hope because clearly the utility managers we spoke to as well, because we surveyed them as well as young people, they said that they do value the skills and abilities that young people have. So that's a good thing. So there's, a, there's an understanding of that. It's just they need help, I think, in how to put these things into practice. So that's the next phase. But, but just going back, it's, the, it's this crucial bit of research that Rural Water Supply Network carried out and, and I'm absolutely delighted in the way that uh, my colleagues did it and the way they went about it and they've really set up the next phase of work beautifully so I'm very very uh, grateful to them. Yeah, the next phase is, is the, the I think the even more difficult part is to actually create this guidance so we're looking at how it's specifically without burning the utility managers because they're very busy people but it's this kind of simple effective ways of, of steps they can take that will make a big difference to a young professional in their career. So what we're trying to do really to, for the utility managers to, is to map out all these different ways that, that young people come into the sector and how they work in well, how they might arrive at a utility um, and then where they want to go in the future and show the utility managers look these are the steps you can take along their career path to help them. Quite honestly, a lot of it, Sean, is about mentoring. Mentoring came out as the number one thing, and that's no surprise to any of us, but we've got more data to prove it. So now I think we might want to try and drill down a little more, a little more into what mentoring actually means for a young person. But mentoring in a sense that but you've got to understand where that young person is trying to go in their career. And it's not mentoring for mentoring's sake. It needs to be for a specific set of purposes. So short answer to the question is what we're trying to do next is, is create this guidance. And we haven't even decided what format we're going to take yet. What I want to avoid is another PDF. And um, you can hold me to account to that in December if I end up producing a PDF. But something where it might be online, a very short training module, uh, or it may just be a, a two-page note. It could be as simple as that. But we're just trying to keep it simple for them. Not getting into policy because we just want to stray away from that. It's about practical steps as a utility manager or a service manager. Somewhere in the global south can just pick up and say, right, there's a few things here I can do. It might make a difference. Great. I, I, I had, I have been absolutely blessed with brilliant mentors. 
right from the start and, and that I'm one of those few people that I think can honestly say they've been lucky they've had it I had someone right from the start who understood me and understand my understood my potential and where I could go and then took it upon himself to be quite hard on me many times actually and give me a lot of um, it's quite tough work to do but it was tough love and I really really appreciated it and I think that this is what young professionals I hear in our sector now are, are crying out for it's not that they they're shirking the hard work and don't want to do it that's absolutely not the case they want to fix the world they want to fix their their local area so much they're so determined to do it and we're not even um, tapping into this resource of, 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 of energy so, uh, that they have so I think um, definitely I benefited from good mentors who were way up who had been there and done it in their career and were willing to put the time in to help me and I think we just need to really focus on that much more.